In my new workshop, you can see I've got this quite large, lovely window. It lets a lot of natural light in and makes sort of an obvious spot for the workbench to go. Unfortunately, the rest of the light is um, its not great. I've got the one working globe actually on at the moment and as you can see, things are pretty dull. I could use my video light. And while that does illuminate me, single point of light, in a workshop shining right in my face is actually pretty unsafe to be using uh, workshop tools. So it's not a great solution. I could aim it at the ceiling, but again, the overall look isn't going to be great for video and still going to have plenty of dull corners. Instead, I've gone ahead and added a whole bunch of truffle lights that I bought from Bunnings. These were about, I think they were about $60, maybe $62, something like that. But if you've got a Power Pass discount, that'll get you to about $58, $57. And I've added four of those so that I've got nice even coverage for the entire workshop. And it's a lot of really nice light. The table saw here is a really common shot to have in a woodworking video. And there are actually parts that are slightly overexposed here, which is pretty amazing. I can still use my video light if I need some more key light on certain areas, but you can see that's getting pretty darn bright. So I may have to downsize my light or at least reduce its brightness because the overhead lights are fantastic. Again, I've gone from this amount of light to this amount. This is a much more amount of light and it's great. I highly recommend it. The truffle panels are meant for drop ceilings and as such they don't have any way to actually mount to a regular ceiling. The previous owner had left behind some pine shelves, so what better use for them? I'm ripping it down into 60mm strips. We had some other scrap small lengths of pine for the short edges. The troughers have a small lip around them which will sit in a dado. The dado will be 9.5mm or 3 eighths of an inch and the lip is about 8mm on the troffer. I want a very loose fit to be able to slide it in. Some scrap 9mm plywood will receive the actual mounting hardware to hold up the frame onto the ceiling. I just need some short strips of that. The end caps will get holes drilled for screws, but this is more about showing off the fancy auto start on my new drill press. The frames are assembled around the truffer. This makes the frame roughly the right shape. I don't really care about getting things too square. For the next part I need to remove the light so I can add in the mounting hardware and attach the frame to the ceiling. These toggle bolts are rated for about 10 kilos each. I've already drilled the 10 millimeter holes in the ceiling that the bolts will push up into. The light can just be slid into the frame, then the end caps can be screwed on. The plywood cross members allow enough space for the cable to poke out above it.
The LED drivers have a couple of slots for the screws to hold them in position. And if you're wondering, the light and frame only weigh about 3.5 kilos each. You could probably use poster tape to secure these to the ceiling. My wiring's not great, but that's because I'm waiting for an electrician to come around and add actual power points rather than running it all off a remote power point stuck to my garage door opener. But you do what you're going to do until things work out, right? It's a little bit weird to say, but the lighting is incredibly important on my rebuilding of workshop experience, workshop life and all of that after all the well, frankly unpleasantness that happened last year and how our lives have changed. My wife and I's lives have changed uh, since mum passed and we sold her house, blah, 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 blah. The place we were renting was fantastic, but it wasn't mine. I couldn't really do these lights though. In retrospect, learning about how lightweight these are, I could have certainly velcroed things to the ceiling and could have made it a much more comfortable space. However, it's really nice to have my own space that I can do such things like lights in the ceiling. And this is really nice. Hopefully there'll be a lot more of these really nice things as I get everything back on track. Thanks for watching.